Hey there, happy artists. Welcome to Kyle Heath Art. This video is a snapshot of what my Patreon subscribers are enjoying right now with their membership. I think you'll find it relaxing, encouraging, and of course, packed full with art tips. If you like this video, you'll get so much more on my Patreon. Painting, drawing, and more. Visit the link in my description to learn more about my Patreon. And with that, onto the video. Now, there are still patches of my kind of orangish brown underpainting, and I love that. I like the effect that those little pops make. I think some people might find that it looks incomplete, but I think it adds a really cool character when you leave some of those there. But that's just a stylistic decision. All right, so now I want to look again. And I'm going to work on the white salt a little bit. Now I say white salt, but white is a very complex color. Most people think of white as just white, but there's so many different shades and tones of white. when your whites have color, that makes for an interesting painting. Practicing painting a white subject actually is awesome practice. I'm having trouble getting this white to stick though. A good tool for that is um, solvent-free gel. If you put a little bit of that on, it'll stick better. I don't wanna get up right now though. I'm on a roll. Plus I got cameras in my face and all that stuff. Now I'm mixing in some white to my lightest green. I'm gonna use that to lay in a colorful reflection right there. Right there. I don't intend to spend buku time on this painting. This is a bit of a study actually, and I'm really excited about the next painting that's gonna evolve out of this one. I'm gonna make a salt shaker again but I'm actually gonna incorporate some graffiti art into the painting. I'm a big fan of puns, if you don't know that already. <laughs> I apologize in advance for all my puns that I'm sure you'll hear. Ooh, too bright. But um, anyways, I wanna do a, a graffiti salt shaker, a salt shaker with some graffiti in the background that says salty. I think that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> salty. I'm new to graffiti. It's not like I do it all the time. And maybe you'd call it hand lettering. I'm not sure. But um, I don't know. I just think it's really beautiful art. And some of the artists that I follow in the digital world are really into that kind of stuff. So I wanna try my hand at it a bit. I'm looking at my white colors for the salt right now and trying to think of how I can shift the color to make the white look more accurate, to make it look more interesting. I almost see like a little bit of yellowish tone in there now. So I'm gonna experiment by taking some of this white and throwing in a bit more yellow and just kind of seeing what happens. It's going to warm my white up. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. 
Mm, I don't like that. Looks kind of yucky to me. So let's keep it cool instead of warm. So I'm gonna take some more of this white and add some blue. Actually, I have a pretty interesting bluish candidate off on the right. I've got my palette from a previous painting off on the right. I figured I would keep some of those paints just in case. I think that's too dark though. It's looking less like salt because I'm not making that contrast happen. If I did this all again, then I might push my colors even darker so that the whites could really be the heroes. Really stand out is what I mean. That's pretty cool. And now, let's see, I'm looking at how the value of the salt changes as the salt gets further from the light. I'm squinting my eyes and gosh, it really does look about the same. The one thing is it seems like it's a teensy bit lighter along the edges here. And so I'm gonna convey that. the center mixing over here the center is going to be somewhat darker than those edges that I just put down and I can choose to either push that or not Cool. That's interesting. I think I want to do away with this green line right there. At least a little bit more. And I'll convey that that's a plane change by the lightness and darkness. So the light shines more right there, which means it's going to be lighter. Keep that a little bit darker though, because there is a shadow coming from the edge of that salt shaker. <laughs> 